deadly California weather leaves 150,000 without power. Ferocious wind and intense rain have pummeled Southern California, leaving one driver dead and more than 150,000 in the dark. Massive trees snapped like toothpicks, causing damage from San Diego to north of Los Angeles. In San Diego, an 80-foot-tall tree fell on a car Sunday, killing the driver, fire rescue Captain Joe Amador said. Across Southern California, hundreds of work crews scrambled to try to restore power to more than 150,000 people who lost electricity in the storm. And there's more fierce weather to come. Powerful winds from 25 to 40 miles per hour will gust up to 60 miles per hour Monday from the mountains of Los Angeles to San Diego, CNN meteorologist Rachel A. Eisen said. Once again, blame El Nino. Low pressure systems off the Pacific coast that are traveling into the mountains and the central plains are from the El Nino that the country has already experienced this winter season. That will mean not only more hurricane force winds, but snow in higher elevations of California. Parts of Los Angeles County over 3,000 feet in elevation could get 2 to 4 inches of snow Monday, Eisen said. Areas with even higher elevations, over 4,000 feet, could see more than 6 inches of snow. The utility company Southern California Edison has sent 200 crews to help 80,000 customers without power. It gave several tips for dealing with power outages and protecting against power surges. Always back up important work and files on computers. Keep gas tanks at least half full, as gas stations need electricity to pump gas. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.